Okay, back on the Magnavox Astrosonic Stereo chassis that the FM performance is not as perky as it should be. And I've determined that all three germanium transistors in the in the FM front end, the FM RF amplifier, the oscillator and mixer transistors all seem to be suspect. They seem to be leaky. But I've ran into cases in the past where older germanium transistors seem to be leaky but yet still function in the circuit. So I made some voltage measurements to sort of help me determine how the transistors were functioning in circuit. And on the FM RF amplifier I'm supposed to have negative 15 volts on the collector and I have absolutely zero. Even with the transistor removed, there's nothing there. And the collector gets its voltage through the RF coil in the FM front end. And the other end of the RF coil is connected to the negative 15 volt source in the power supply, which is basically just a Zener diode that, that regulates the uh, negative 15 volts. So now I'm going to try to locate that Zener diode and check the voltage there at that point and see if the voltage is absent or not. Okay, I think I've got the FM performance about as good as I'm going to get it. It turns out there was an error on the SAMS photo fact. Imagine that. It claimed there was supposed to be negative 15 volts on the collector of the FM RF transistor. But looking closely at the schematic, there's no way that's possible because the coil where the uh, 15 volts is supposed to be derived from goes to ground. So in other words, if there was 15 volts going in at the bottom of the uh, RF coil, it would the low resistance of the coil would just shunt that voltage to ground. So actually I believe there's supposed to be zero volts on the collector. I played around with the alignment a little more and got the FM about as good as it's going to get. It's not as hot as some receivers, but it's better than it was. Or just uh, using empty words and lip service. Beauty. I have a neighbor, a young neighbor. That's a contemporary Christian station that's about 35 miles away, so... It's a simulcast of 1390 WMER. But before I do that, it's in life. Okay, let's try AM. Let's turn the lights off first. Ingredients, right? Yeah, so you're e, vitamin, vitamin, 
be aware that we need to touch all of our teeth and all the tooth surfaces. Nine. That's one eight hundred six five. Because he has blessed you with his mercy, you ought to give something back. And service bays have reached to the sky. That was 1390. They really overdo themselves, if you know what I mean. Okay, that's AM. Okay, I think we're about ready to go put this chassis back in the cabinet. Okay, here we are back together. Hooked up to the built-in FM antenna and it does pretty good. Okay, now let's try AM. It's darn fluorescent light and all those. We're not going to... Okay. Okay, and there's what the dial looks like, lit up in a dark room. Okay, in the next video we'll take care of the record changer, and then this thing ought to be done. But right now I'll give you a little demo of the record changer. It, it works, but I want to do some preventative maintenance on it to make sure it stays working. your listening pleasure okay there you go thanks for watching part three will be coming up shortly until then y'all behave